Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're headed into the Salvation Army Family Store in Clearwater, Florida, looking for jewelry, purses, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on my live buy nows and auctions on my channel as well as daily videos. Hit that subscription button, subscribe to my channel please, and hit a thumbs up for this video. Let's go see if we can find anything great. It's a pretty big store. You never know what you're gonna find. You can't ever discount a place. If you didn't find something the first time you went in, try, try again. Let's see, you can see that it's a pretty big store. Lots of clothing. They'll have a few purses and jewelry and some knickknacks. We'll see what they've got. Mm, that necklace is interesting. Be nice if it were real turquoise. We'll see what they got. Look at this tiger eye necklace here. This brooch right here, we may want to take a look at. Look at this piece right here. We may take a closer look at that because I don't know what that is. That looks like it might be an old vintage piece. Here they usually color code. Got your copper bracelet there. It's a pretty floral bracelet, purple one right there in the back. Oh, I love this. Look at this. I'm so glad I came in. Look at this piece right here, y'all. Oh, um, my gosh. I'm getting that one. I love that Egyptian Revival style. Turk necklace. Torque necklace. Let's see what else they've got in here. That brooch is pretty. So I'll take this one. Pay attention to it at first. Mm hmm. We're getting another box of jewelry hopefully tomorrow. Jewelry. Yep. So we found a couple pairs that I love that Egyptian revival. Wow to the wow. Is this a stretch bracelet as am? Um, is this turquoise? I mean, not turquoise, but I think that might be coral. Not absolutely certain. Let's zoom in on it and see if we can tell. It's got the initial M. Not sure. I'm thinking that might be coral, but I'm going to skip on it anyway. I think it's pretty... But I think I'm going to pass. What is this one? DVF. I know nothing about this, but I'm going to take a chance on it because I'm afraid about the time that I leave it behind. It'll be something super special. So I don't want to make that mistake. So we are going to buy this bracelet again. It says DVF. Y'all tell me if you've ever heard that before. This looks like it's hand painted. It's pretty. Look how cute this is. That is pretty. So they have a few purses here, not many. I'll take a look. Let's see what they've got. Let's see if there's a treasure. I'm hoping I found a treasure on those jewels. The Egyptian Revival necklace is awesome. There will be no problem selling it. I forget what that bird is called on it. But I love it. Reaction by Kenneth Cole. And Older Brighton. This purse is by Christian. 
Very cute. Many size. Milk glass vase. They have quite a bit of milk glass here. What are these? Shaped like crabs. What does it say on the bottom here? Glass bake. These are cute. Don't know what you'd use them for. Condiments or something, I think. Candlestick holder. Marco made Japan. And look how cute this is. Look at this. Deborah, if you're watching, what do we do with these? Look, put a succulent in it. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm getting that for real. I love this so much. Look at that. That is so cute. That will sell quickly. Super fine. I don't usually sell this big of items, but look at this. It's milk glass candle holders, and there's a set of them. Oops. So a set of milk glass candle holders. Those, to me, I, I like them, but I just wouldn't sell them because I think the shipping, you know, and they're definitely breakable. But I like those. Not sure how many of y'all do, but comment below. Eating on yay. Look at this. This is a pretty one right here. Pebbled leather. Let's see how much it is. It's $20. So that was a short and sweet trip. I can't wait to show you what I bought. I just bought a few things, but I'm going to show you real quick. I bought this adorable planner. This will probably be sold at auction before y'all see this video. Love this planner so much. As Deborah. Now, if he always says, we just put a succulent in it. So every time I see one of these, I say, Deborah, what do we say about this piece? We're just going to put a succulent in it. And let me show you the pieces of jewelry I bought also. These gorgeous peacock style earrings. They're marked on the back. I don't know if they're sterling or not, but I will test those like I always do. I'm not sure if that right there is pearl. It's not a sandy feel when I rub them together, so I'm not certain on that. Let me show you the back of them, and I'll show you the... The number that's on the back and if you, any of y'all know what those are definitely comment below but i will be testing those to see if they are sterling and regardless if they're sterling or not definitely going to sell them so let me zoom in on this number that's right there at the bottom let me zoom in for you and y'all tell me in the comments below if you don't mind what you think that that means or if you have seen these type of earrings before so here's what you've got 999 fs 999 fs let me see if we can zoom in where you can see that well so 999 fs is what's marked on the bottom of these earrings i have no idea what that means but we are definitely going to try to figure that out or i am but with y'all's help in the comments below we can probably get there a lot faster so that's what they look like 999 fs frank sam on the back don't know what that means but i will test them for sterling and then i'll research online to see what i found let me show you this last piece of Egyptian Revival jewelry. I am so sorry this is not Egyptian Revival. I do have this one piece here before the Egyptian Revival. If y'all again know or have seen this this bracelet before, it's kind of a gold tone. It is, has the initial D, V, F, David, Victor, Frank. Not sure about that. Never heard of that brand, but I did not want to leave that behind because I've made that mistake in the past leaving things. That ended up People telling me, oh my gosh, you should have bought it. So hopefully this is an oh my gosh, you got it piece. Now on to the Egyptian Revival piece. So let's look at this beautiful torque necklace right here. This is all gold tone. We'll zoom in on it in just a second, but it's all gold tone. But look at this right here. It is not designer marked at all, but that piece is stunning for sure. Let me zoom in on that for you. So again, a torque necklace, and look at that. That is beautiful. So Salvation Army, while it's a short video, under 10 minutes, we really nailed it today. Got some great things from there, and that's how we do it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, my channel, The Costume Jeweler.
Hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss on daily videos of thrifting, estate sales, auctions, things like that. Also, don't miss out on those weekend jewelry sales every Saturday and Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes a pop-up during the week. Thumbs up for the video, and we will see you all later. Thank you for supporting my channel. Bye.